Hi friends, welcome to today's video. We are going to have so much fun because as you can see, we are making donut soap. Please forgive me, I know, I know I've been MIA, but life happens, you know. There's a lot going on in my life right now, good and bad, but please bear with me. You know, I love you and I really missed you guys. If you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Jani and I'm the creator behind the Acrylic Creative Studio brand. And in this channel, I share my soap making journey with you. And occasionally I vlog. If this is something that sounds fun to you, please consider subscribing and say hi in the comments. Let me know if you're here because you're curious or if you are a soap maker looking for inspiration. I am now going to talk about the supplies that we're going to use in this video. If you are just interested in watching the process, I'm going to leave timestamps so you can watch that part. If you want to just go watch it now. And as you can see, the donuts are already made and I did not film because this video would have been so long. So instead, we are just going to jump to the fun part. You can make the donuts um, using your regular soap recipe. You just need a donut shape mold. And if you're a newbie and you're looking for a good recipe, follow the link in the description box where I've linked my favorite recipes from Brambleberry. For the mold, we are using a donut mold from Amazon. Now remember that everything will be linked in the description box and also in my Amazon storefront page for your convenience. We're also using soap sprinkles from Amazon, but I've seen this in Joanne's and Hobby Lobby. I just didn't have the time to go there, so bought them from Amazon. For the colors, we are using Magenta Mica from Brambleberry. This is going to be for my strawberry glaze. Titanium dioxide for the vanilla. And red rum from Mad Micas for the chocolate. And that's it. I'm not using fragrance oil in my glaze because the fragrance that I use for the donuts, which is Snickerdoodle from Candle Science, has a high vanillin content and I don't want it to discolor my glaze. So enough talking, let's make some soap. Okay everyone, so today I am going to use a new method. I was looking um, for information for the heat transfer method on YouTube and I found a couple videos, very instructive videos um, about how to do that. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to mix the lye and then we're going to add the lye water to our hard oils. Then after that, after everything melts with the heat of the lye, we're going to add the oils. After that, we're going to mix until we achieve trace and then we'll work from there. I will not be talking. I just don't want to be talking while I'm doing this because I have to concentrate. You can tell I'm already nervous. You know me, I'm a nervous wreck. <laughs> the lye water while it still was hot to our butters and that it's going to melt everything so that way we don't have to wait um, for everything to go down in temperature you know already I'm a very impatient person and the most tedious task, task for me is to mix the lye and then heat the oils and then wait for everything to come down in temperature so I found out about this method and I just wanted to try it out and so far so good. This is the second time I do it. The first time was a breeze and everything went okay. So as you can see it's not taking a lot of time but it, this is a very small batch. So this is just one pound of soap. As you can see everything's getting melted right away so I'm gonna give it just a minute because I want to mix my Koloda oatmeal with my oils as always 
I'm gonna try to pull this. This is not gonna work. So I'm just gonna whisk, whisk it. I added about a teaspoon of Colloida oatmeal. I wanna do this first here, and then we'll add these to the butters when they're completely melted. And I wanted to tell you, there's a bunch of new soap makers on YouTube sharing their process. And I'm so excited because I'm always looking to watch other YouTubers and support them. And one of them, I'm going to leave her name in the description and a link to her channel. And maybe a clip, I'm going to insert a clip over here. She um, uploaded, I think, two videos. And she makes beautiful, beautiful soaps. The last one she made, she made a like a quartz with a crystal on top of the soap. Uh, amazing, amazing. And she was using the heat transfer method. I think that's why she showed up on my feed because I was looking for that. So I'm gonna leave a link so you can go watch that video. Show her some love and subscribe. And that way we grow our soap makers community here. More videos for you to watch. Okay, so now I'm going to add my oils. So a chunk of colloidal oil here. Yeah, here. Not breaking up? Okay, then stay there. I don't need you. Alright, so now we're going to use our stick blender. One thing uh, that it's, it's been a little difficult for me with this method is to know when I really reach emotion because as you can see it's already thick. I don't know it's just maybe with time I'll feel more comfortable but guys we don't have to wait this is awesome I also don't want this to be a very thin trace because this is going to be frosting so we need it to be a little bit thick so I'm going to keep um, until I get kind of like medium trace. Alright, so this is looking pretty good to me. And now we are going to divide this so we can make our three colors. eyeball it all right so now white pink and brown okay so now we have our frosting ready you can see looking very good it is very thick though so I hope <laughs> I'm doing this right so this is the fun the fun moment we're going to decorate our donuts and I'm going to start with the white we're just going to dip our donuts in the frosting. Sorry, you know I'm always shaking because of my nets. Ooh. Okay, I don't like that thing over there. Okay, perfect. Okay. We're going to add some sprinkles. Oh my god, this is so much fun. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oops. I ended up punching that. Sweet brother. My god, they're so cute. Okay, let me do one pink. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have you tried something like this? It's 
So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna dip them all and then put them here because it's getting thick and I'm getting nervous. Alright, so we're decorating the last one and I am super, super, super happy with how this turned out. This is exactly what I had in mind. They look super cute. I know they're going to sell really well. And they smell amazing. So, I'm so sorry guys, I'm shaking so much. I feel like I can't like decorate this the way I want. Sprinkles are getting everywhere. And I'm extra shaky today. Okay, so if you want, you can push them down a little bit. Oh, I missed them. Okay, so no, I'm just going to leave them like that. Just push them very lightly. Oh my god, I definitely have to put do not eat on the label. What do you guys think? It looks so cute. So now with the extra batter, this is what I'm going to do. So this is going to be um, for a new video. I am going to do some, I'm not going to tell you, it's a surprise, subscribe, hit the bell. <laughs> and once the video's up, you're going to find out what it is. We're going to do a super fun um, soap. It's super fun, you know, we always, always make fun things here on this channel. I just want you to feel like um, you have a friend and... Sometimes I know it's very difficult to own a small business. We all feel lonely sometimes. I do feel lonely. I feel lonely. I miss, you know, going somewhere and having co-workers. Have someone to talk to, make friends. So since I can't do that, I know I have you. And you have me. So if there's something that you want to leave in the comments, you want to say hi, what kind of soaps do you like to make, what is your favorite technique, when did you start making soap, let me know, let me know in the comments. So we're going to let our frosting set for 24 hours and then I will show you how they look once they are dry. I'm super happy, they look super cute, you tell me. Please don't forget to like this video, this really helps my channel a lot and I'll see you when these are dry. For 29 and I find myself wondering What did happen to the last 10? I ran away with my life fast forward Never turned back again it's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you.